Welcome to this video, Ancestor and Austronesia Link. The Austronesian expansion area, or the red arrows and between green lines, together with its environment, kind of spans the whole planet, from the Americas to Africa, including all continents. The Austronesian expansion area includes the Pacific Ocean plus coasts in purple, green and red and is extended by the Indian Ocean plus coasts in blue and red. The Indian Ocean is a closed sea and a kind of an Afroasiatic Mediterranean, around which populations have more intensively migrated and mixed. Australia and Papua New Guinea are in the middle of these above two oceans and will prove to be key. The Atlantic Ocean gap between the Americas and Africa is less than 3,000 kilometers wide and only 7 to 8 percent of this span around the planet. The Atlantic Ocean is an open ocean without many islands and there is little to detect. This said, the Atlantic Ocean presents a two strong gyres, and can be navigated and circled quicker than the Pacific Ocean and even more constant than the Indian Ocean, and I hypothesize that the two Atlantic Ocean gyres played two major roles in the Native American and Austronesian expansion and were key because it completed the recognized extension into a circumnavigation band. Such a strategic circumnavigation band could help explain the worldwide dispersal of sea as well as the detection of Austronesian influence on the west coast of Africa. I considered the whole band influenced first by Q, and next by C which coastal migrations are illustrated in consensus maps. I consider the arrival of C of the anatomically modern humans, AMH, or morphological modern humans, MMH, in Europe as the North Atlantic gyre part of the Q and C expansion or the Native American expansion, because it involved the birth of the same haplogroup C descending from Q in the same period. Similarly C arrives in Asia and Austronesia. These morphological modern humans, MMF, in Europe migrate at the same time and at least at some point carry the haplogroup C, just like the Pacific part of the Austronesian's expansion carried C to Austronesia, that includes Japan, that further carries to Asia. All carried Q before C. MMF are also related to the Native Americans like those of the Clovis cultures that consequently must be kind of MMF themselves. Probably Clovis culture and MMF turned over or wiped out the Neanderthal etc., however did not interbred with the Neanderthal. Clovis culture and MMF are related to the Native American. The later haplogroup R, also related to the Native American ancestor will turn over these Clovis culture and MMF of haplogroups Q and C before the year 4000 BP. However, Q and C are still around in low frequencies even in Asia and even Europe, and when added up are so from east coast to west coast. Q and C only became rather undetectable there where several turnovers happened in a row, this mainly by the C direct descendants D, E and also H. 1. Native Americans are genetically related to Austronesians and their environment. 2. Native Americans migrated to and inhabited Polynesia and Austronesia as first, and inhabited its maximum environment that includes the Americas and Africa and kind of spans the whole world in the at that time Roaring Ice Ages. In the case of Africa this happened more indirectly by means of the Q descendant E. Pointed out is the QCDE chronologically ordered QCDE to the west. Probably mostly before or possibly even long before the Austronesian expansion, which is the main subject of this video, haplogroup Q already migrated to the whole world and therefore first used the same Pacific and Indian Ocean route that the Austronesian expansion used, but also later an Amazon to Northeast Asia route that links the Amazon American ancestor to its Northeast Asian descendants. Consensus interprets the consequent link between the Amazon American ancestor and Northeast Asian's descendants as evidence in favor of the consensus hypotheses, that nevertheless presents a lot of paradigms. Austronesian expansion and this Amazon to Northeast Asia route are the subject of other videos. Thank you for watching. Bye.